B.S. Abdul Rahman University, earlier known as B.S. Abdul Rahman Crescent Engineering College. Good morning, everyone. I am Dr. R. Rajendran, Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering from B.S. Abdul Rahman Crescent University. Today, we will be discussing about the topic failure. So, in the failure, we will be focusing on the fast fracture. So, what is the need for studying the failure? Why do you want to understand the concept of failure? So, as an engineer, you need to understand what is the possibility of failure because when you are going for a design, you need to understand where the component fail. So, in order to prevent the uh, failure, so you need to understand what is the basic concept. So, in this case, we have various types of uh, failure. So, basically, we will be focusing on fracture, fatigue and creep. So, once when you are able to identify what is the mode of failure, so we will be able to understand the what is the basic design principle so that we can prevent the failure in service. So, what is failure? Basically, failure is a loss of ability to function normally or to perform the intended job. So, when we talk about the failure, we have various types which include excessive elastic deformation, basically the buckling, so which is controlled by the design and elastic models of the material. Next, we have the excessive plastic deformation which is controlled by the yield strength of the material. So, basically I have an example which talks about the loss of shape, creep or the stress rupture at elevated temperature. So, today's topic will be on fracture, so which involves the complete disruption of a continuity of a component under the static or a dynamic load, so which we will be dealing in detail. So, talking about uh, failure or the fracture, what do you mean by the word fracture? So, when you talk about in our daily life, we are able to connect so, you have a fracture in the bone. So, it is basically we called it as a fracture. So, when you say it is a fracture, it means it will be split into two or three parts. So, it will be broken into pieces that is called a fracture. So, the basic literal meaning is separation of the body into two or more pieces due to the application of stress. So, when you talk about the word stress, it can be a tensile, compressive, shear or torsional. So, in today's class, we will be talking about the fast fracture. So, basically we are trying to do it with an activity or a demonstration. So, basically we are taking a balloon. So, wherein we are trying to blow a balloon and then try to introduce a crack or we will see how the crack propagates and leads to failure. So, if you have a more energy is being released, then you will be leading to various uh, explosions or collapse of uh, engineering components or the engineering application wherein you have the boilers or the bridges. So, basically we try to understand what is fracture. So, fracture it means the propagation of crack which finally leads to the failure of the material or the component. So, now coming to the basic concept. So, this fast fracture it indicates the what is the, how the material fails. So, we have an example like uh, welded ships or the welded bridge and the gas pipeline and the pressure vessels wherein you have a crack which will be basically due to the improper or imperfect welding. So, which may lead to catastrophic failure. So, which will be causing uh, what you call human lives will be damaged because of this and then the cost involved will be more for the repair or the whatever the damage it has been occurred. So, now we will just go into the demonstration. So, in this case we will be trying to blow a balloon. So, basically what is the concept is we are trying to correlate how the balloon the crack propagation with the daily or the what is what you called basically with the connect with the engineering application. So, you could just uh, blow the balloon. So, what is that you are trying to do in this? Uh, you are just trying to store the energy or the gas. So, you are trying to blow the air wherein you have the compressed gas or the energy of this compressed gas it will be known as the elastic energy which will be stored in the rubber membrane itself. So, when you try to increase the pressure the total amount of elastic energy which is stored in the system will be increasing. Now, what you are trying to do is we are trying to introduce a flaw. So, when I say it is a flaw, we are just trying to prick it with a pin, thereby you are trying to explode the balloon, thereby all the energy will be getting released. So, what is it happening in this? So, we are trying to simulate the crack propagation. We could have the demonstration now. So, we have the elastic energy is being stored. Now, we are just introducing a crack. So, what happened? You could see this is the membrane fails by fast fracture. So, this is the basic concept of fast fracture. So, the membrane fails by fast fracture even though it is below the yield strength. So, this is the 
correlation. So, what is the learning from this activity? So, basically, what we are trying to do, we are trying to make a flaw or we are trying to introduce a crack. So, we are, for example, you say something like a 1 mm. So, we are trying to tear the rubber. So, the energy that has been stored in the balloon is the elastic energy, and then we are trying to introduce a crack by means of a pin. So, this consumes the energy. So, whatever the energy that has been stored in the balloon, the elastic energy that is coming out as a surface energy which is tearing the balloon. So, basically, this is the basic concept which we will be using it for the Griffith theory of brittle fracture. So, whatever the work done inside the balloon, so plus the whatever the elastic energy that has been released, so will be always uh, what you call more than the energy, otherwise, it will be violating the laws of thermodynamics. So, what you are trying to do when you are just trying to blow the balloon to a larger extent, so the crack or the flaw will be stable and then until the energy that has been stored inside the balloon will be more and then it will be able to overcome the whatever the energy that has been stored. So, basically we require something called a critical pressure for the fast fracture of a pressure vessel which contains a crack or a flaw of a given size. So, this is a basic concept which you are trying to demonstrate. This will be applicable in the engineering application like the pressure vessels wherein you are trying to exceed the limit. So, what is the learning you are just trying to get? So, we have been talking about various accidents that has been occurring in industries. So, also we have seen some uh, recent cases wherein the bridges have been collapsed and then we have the steam boilers have been uh, exploded. So, what is the reason basically? All the uh, accident that has been occurred, it is basically due to the fast fracture. So, basically you have a stress which will be more than the allowable limit or the critical stress. So, what is this critical stress? So, this is the stress wherein the energy will be available to tear the balloon or the propagate thereby the crack advances and this will be more than the design level. So, when you are going for a design application, you will be having a certain stress within which you need to operate the boiler or a pressure vessel or a bridge. Once when this stress is being exceeded, then the crack propagates. So, how do we calculate this critical stress? So, you have graph here. So, wherein you could see what is the applied stress and the what is the defect size. So, there is a limit wherein we call the critical size, the stress is called the critical stress beyond which the failure occurs by fast fracture. So, you could see the failure which is occurring by yielding. So, you require a very high stress though the defect will be very small. So, when you have a defect when the crack propagates, when you just prick the balloon, the crack propagates and the size get increased thereby the failure occurs by the fast fracture. So, this is the basic concept by which you will be able to understand how we can prevent the failure. So, basically we are going for the this input will be taken in for the design calculations. So, we need to understand how the material fails. So, talking about the concept the crack propagate basically when you have a sharp edge or a crack tip. So, we have been talking about the material which will be deformed at the tip thereby or you have a deformation. So, basically you have a brittle material which will be very sharp and then you have a plastic deformation will be occurring. So, the basic concept for the Griffith theory is the energy balance on the crack. So, what you have done? We have the elastic strain energy which has been stored in the material as it is elastically deformed. This energy has been released when the crack propagate and there is a creation of new surface which requires the energy for tearing. So, the basic thing we are trying to have a energy balance. So, this is the law of nature. We cannot basically it talks about the conservation of energy based on which you are trying to get into the basic theory. So, next we will have a one more activity wherein we are trying to blow a balloon wherein we are trying to stick two pieces of tape in form of a cross and then we try to puncture it or we try to introduce the crack. So, we will have the next activity. So, we are just trying to blow the balloon and then we are trying to introduce the So, we have already just uh, stick the what you called the tape and then you put a into mark and then we try to introduce the flaw or a crack into it. So, you could just observe what is happening now, you just try to prick or you are trying to introduce the crack. Just hold it. Ah. So, you just uh, wait for some time, you just release your hand. So, previously we have been seeing when you have a balloon we are just trying to prick it and then we could see the fast fracture. Now, we are trying to control. 
So, now there is a we are trying to avoid the crack or the we are trying to have a slow propagation. So, thereby we are trying to stop or minimize the crack propagation. So, this is the activity which shows how the crack propagates and how we can better avoid it. So, when you just try to puncture it or when you are trying to introduce a flaw, it is not only the air that has been rushing out which makes a noise, but instead we called it is a catastrophic crack propagation. So, which is the basic principle in the fast fracture. So, the hole will start spreading and then it basically we are, when you have put a tape, we are just trying to control or minimize the uh, crack propagation. So, we are trying to slow down the process thereby we are postponing the pop sound or the crack initiation. So, basically when you have fracture, it means you are trying to have the crack formation and the crack propagation. So, this is the basic idea for which we are just trying to get into the learning. So, this is an activity which you could uh, do by yourself. So, you could just take a piece of paper and then you can try to introduce a crack in a parallel direction and then try to tear it. So, you could have a fill. Then in the second case, you try to have a, a crack in a perpendicular direction and you try to apply a force and then try to tear it. So, this is an activity which you can do by yourself. So, in order to conclude this, <coughs> so in today's class, we have been talking about fracture, so which is one of the failure, which is very catastrophic failure, which is occurring in the all the engineering application. We have been able to connect with the daily life, how the fracture is occurring. So, in this case, you have a failure, which is basically it is does not serve the intended function or the purpose. So, fracture, it is a type of a failure wherein you are just trying to have a crack formation and then you have a crack propagation. So, we have seen how the crack propagates by means of a balloon. So, we are trying to introduce the crack and then we have been talking about how the crack propagation occurred and how we could delay or postpone it. So, when you try to increase the layer or the thickness of the balloon or anything, then we could try to control it. That is what we have been able to introduce in the design concept. So, what are the basic concepts you have taught? We will be introducing while designing for the components which are failing by fracture. So, hope you would have been uh, able to understand the concept of uh, fast fracture through this simple activity. Hope you would have enjoyed this class. Thank you.